Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What would thou have with me? A drama lesson at Richard Challoner School in southwest London. Art subjects like drama play an important role here, but in many secondary schools, they're now under threat. I do think schools are at this moment in time at a tipping point, and if something is not done urgently, imminently, to, to solve the financial problem, then many schools are not going to cope. The head here says they can no longer afford to repair the school or replace staff who leave. It becomes a question of, shall I have two drama teachers or shall I get an extra English and maths teacher? Shall I have three art, art teachers or shall I have an extra scientist? Because the, the focus of attention is on those core subjects. Nice. And now up to eight is a minor. Richard Challoner, which is rated outstanding by Ofsted, has two full-time music teachers, but in some schools, music is being cut. What you've got are numbers which are, have always been historically low at GCSE, being told that that GCSE is now no longer offered. Um, I mean, you wouldn't dream of cutting a GCSE in English or science, uh, which is, I know, traditional, but then music's one of the most traditional things we have. <laughs> Today's report says the number of secondary schools in deficit has trebled in the last four years. The government disputes that. We've increased investment in schools by 1.3 billion over and above the, 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 the budget that was agreed with the Treasury. Um, so by 2020, we're spending £43.5 billion pounds on schools. But teachers like Mary Sandal say rising costs mean in real terms budgets have been cut. Last summer, she quit teaching after 30 years. Staff morale was going down, 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 down. Pupils' choices were getting narrower and narrower. And I was overseeing that. And I felt, I've got a choice here. I either carry on doing this and I'll be rolling over and doing what the government want me to do, or I'm going to say, do you know what, this isn't good enough. And because it's not good enough, I'm not doing it anymore. And that's the decision I made. And with many teachers leaving the profession, the concern is the effect on students. We're talking about young people here, and, and they, are, they are the future. And if we don't make their educational experience as rich and uh, as good as we can possibly make it, it's everyone who's going to suffer in the, in the long run. What should Ben Volio be doing while this dialogue is happening? The government says funding is increasing, but many schools aren't feeling it. And many teachers say soon there'll be nothing left to cut. Leila Hayes, 5 News.